Are you kidding me, dude? I just... standard right and then we'll edit it the way we want it to be we'll make the starting climate as cold as possible no uh, i don't a grace timer we're not going to have that uh death punishment uh, we're not going to edit that because we're just going to make it so we have one life um let's see block gravity everything that can have gravity does and then creature strength, we'll just have a small boost of 50%, right? That can make it so foxes can uh, kill us, be afraid of them. Um, what else? I always forget exactly what I want. I'll leave all this stuff on, like lore content and things like that. I doubt we'll do any of it, but it would be pretty cool if we did. I have a feeling that maybe uh, forcing the snowball planet might delete stuff i have no idea i've never actually seen this content before so i have no idea um let's see okay let's do our land cover so i'm, I'm still not completely certain on the settings i like for this but let's just say that there's at least 70 percent land in the world i think that's the measurement right and this is the scaling right i assume this is going to decide how i splits that up amongst the water or something um let's just say 75 percent. i think what this means is there's gonna be smaller ocean size and and 70 percent land cover i assume i don't actually know so if anybody knows like the exact thing this does right uh i would like an explanation for a child because that way I'll know what it means. Um, so I'll leave that alone. I People have explained this to me on, on stream multiple times. And I either don't get them or it answers nothing. Right? So we'll see. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave all this stuff on normal. Because I assume it'll be normal for a snowball planet. And if we want any form of like survivability that isn't boring i'll be honest like i don't want to survive off purely ruins i think that's boring uh i want there to be some sort of nature out there that i can find and utilize because if it's purely uh ruins then i don't think i want to play this way i might adjust the settings if it turns out to be that way but when i tested it on stream um it seemed to be fine Right, these settings that I'm doing, it seems to be that like, if you get somewhere warm, they'll be well frozen. They'll still be a little bit of dirt, a little bit of grass. Uh, so it is possible to get there. Right, I think you just need a lot of luck. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll get lucky. Now, there's also a lot of bad starts where there's just nothing. There's nothing around you. No rocks, or there'll be no grass, or there'll be no wood, or there'll be no ruins, or at least I miss them. Right, I don't find them. Uh, we'll see how bad things really are. Uh, now where is it where I control global temperature? Snowball Earth. That's what we want. Why isn't it changing? There we go. That was weird. I would hover over it and that would vanish, right? Human error. Uh, okay. Snowball Earth. I think that's everything, right? Snowball Earth... Um, collapsing soils, 50% more damage, 
Uh, cold it. Oh yeah, turn off the world map. Turn off. Oh, turn off coordinates. We'll leave uh, lore on. Almost forgot about these two. Well, I lived, right? It survived character creation. I wasn't mauled by a polar bear. And oh god, there's a bear right there. Nice. Okay. Uh, we want those trees. Hopefully, there's some stones nearby. I really hope this bear doesn't come after me. I don't. There's two bears. Or it turned brown somehow. Or white somehow. I'm gonna. F there's just bears everywhere, dude. I. <laughs> okay, cool. Fine. Well, let's just thread the needle here on the bear aggro. So. I think the bears are not well implemented. I think. Uh, I think for the time being, the way they should function, they should be a lot slower than the player. Because it's really a spawning problem. It's not just the bears. I think it's more of a... Man, I can't see anything. It's like white on white. I'm gonna leave the bloom on. Because I want to be able to, like, feel snow blind. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna sprint this way and hope there's no bears. I hope this other bear isn't after me. Right. Let's just get around and get to those trees if we can. I'm gonna try play that way. If the if if the bloom is too powerful, I might dial it back. Um, I checked the audio and it seemed okay. I would hate to record for like an hour and then find out the audio is bad. If it is, I'll I'll fine tune it for the next episode. But uh, I like to have audible video game sound. Oop, a little bit of lag there. Probably generating stuff. All right, let's just try to get some sticks and then get the hell out. This is frozen, right? Sand. Andersite. I don't remember if Andersite is a nappable stone. But let's hope it is. Because when we spawn on areas where we can't, like, uh, nap the stone, it's kind of a big pain in the ass. Because a lot of the stones we'll find is likely to be from a cave. Oh god, yeah, the bloom. Powerful. Powerful bloom. I might turn that back off, dude. Like, I like bloom, depending on the game. The more surreal a game is, the more I would like Bloom. But not that it interferes in gameplay, right? In this case, I feel like it'll add to the gameplay. Because I'll have a snow blindless. Right? Maybe I won't see a polar bear because of the glaring snow. Uh, I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> okay, we have a few sticks. Um, I'm kind of tempted to take this with me, but I know I'm never going to use it. So let's get rid of it. Well... Under normal circumstance, we want to travel north. Uh, sorry, south. South. Because we want to get somewhere warmer and hopefully find dirt, hopefully find grass. I don't know if we can find berries in Snowball. Um, I did a little bit of testing off camera uh, uh, on my stream. And you can find dirt, grass, and things like that in Snowball. So, <clears throat> uh, At least on the settings that I have it set to. So I'm hoping someday we can live in some sort of comfort, but we just gotta get out of the frozen north, right? Avoid all these bears, which is probably impossible. Um, things I'm not gonna avoid... Uh, sorry, things I want to avoid is I want to avoid nerd pulling. I want to avoid uh, nerd holing. I didn't know about this. Somebody told me I should dig a one-by-one -one pit or a one-by-whatever pit and just go straight down and then spear stab a bear. And I think that's awesome. But I, I don't want to do that. I want to build a pitfall. I'm okay with pitfalls because that feels like I got to plan it and take the time to execute. Uh, I feel like maybe on occasion, maybe I'll use a, a ladder to escape death. But I don't want to, like, kill them by being on top of the ladder. Because I just feel like it's cheating. Um, so I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, for me. Cheating for me. I'm, I don't say, I'm not saying, like, you shouldn't do that. Uh, do what you got to do to live. Uh, just for me, I would feel... I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't be satisfied doing it that way. So we're gonna run when we're in trouble. We're gonna try to use water to our advantage. Although, supposedly, polar bears swim faster. So it might be a little scary. Uh, we're probably gonna have a lot of deaths. Like, everything I'm recording now might be just be deleted. I don't know. We'll see. I say we head towards these trees. Yeah, the snow, the, the bloom really adds a, like you're blinded by the snow effect, which is kind of nice. Uh, it makes it feel more cold. 
more, uh, I don't know, imposing. It's like there's a big mountain over there. You could get minerals, right? Like some sort of ore. I don't know. Not that we're worried about that right now. We're more worried about food. Okay, we have enough sticks. Um, I feel like I should go for... I think it combines... I remember people getting mad at me for not collecting these to make a vine rope and then make a basket, remember? But it turns out that was a mod. And was it in the game yet? I think it's officially in the game now. Right? Let me check. Like, I think we could actually pull that off now. Like, reeds... I don't know, maybe not. Okay, maybe not a hand basket. What if it's just a basket? Or what's that container called? I don't remember. Okay, already people are typing in all caps in the comments. I'm gonna ignore comments, I'm not gonna read them. No, I'll read them. But I may not respond. I'll just heart them so you guys know I read them. Well, that's good for there's food existing near us. We just got to find a stone or a cave to find stones. That might be a, an arctic ruin. Nah, it's a pit. It looked like something sticking out of the ground to me for a moment, but it wasn't. It was something sunk into the ground. Same with this. This might be a ruin or it just might be like gravel or something. Let's go take a look. Oh, please. Okay, it's a ruin. If it's an arctic one, we should get some basic materials. A seeds. Alright, well. That's a bust. There's a, Okay, that's definitely an arctic ruin. 100%. So we should get our starting tools, and I'm going to go straight to those foxes and see if we can hunt them. Shoot. We got clay. I mean, I want clay. I don't know what I can make with seven clay is the problem. I wonder if that's an exact amount. We can make a fire now, though. And we can make some tools. Let's get started with that. Let's make a axe. We're going to need one. I want to make two spears because it makes hunting infinitely easier. And also, like, the foxes, if they turn back to bite us, they can kill us very easily, right? We, we take 50% more damage. I'm going to need a knife. Uh, I really hope those foxes have fat on them. Sometimes they can have fat. Um, although I haven't played this way since uh, the world gen update, right? So maybe it's different now. I don't know. I'm going to make two spears, though. I think it's going to be necessary. I'm trying to think what else I can make with this uh, last piece of flint. We have our basics, though. We got a little comfy axe. We have a spear. I might just use the axe to melee the, the fox and hope they don't get to me. I'll have to risk it. Let me think. I don't really want a shovel. Having a shovel would be nice to quickly dig through snow. But uh, it's not like 100% necessary. Hmm... With the amount of grass I have, I, I don't want to make the armor too fast. Right? The, the really crappy log fire log armor. Because I need that to start fires. Right now we only have eight fires. Less than that. I think we have to use two grass to make a, a fire starter. And I really want to make a torch because uh, I believe it does give you some warmth when you hold it. Although that might be a mechanic I'm getting confused by from another game. There are other games I played where a, a torch kind of warms you a little. Uh, I think this game is that game, but I'm not sure. I play a lot of survival games and have bad memory. Um, okay, well... <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, as for the clay, I wonder if seven clay is enough for a bowl and a cooking pot. Because that would be incredible to have early on. Because if I ever find a bunny, we could cook that up and get get a, a better uh, calories out of it. Um, I don't know. Like you might be thinking, make a make a pick, make a thing. No, because we might come across tools and just be able to skip that step. A lot of the early game is going to be us looking for ruins just to survive, and then we're going to start heading south. 
uh, and try to get somewhere uh, a slightly warmer where we can try to grow crops or something. Remember, it's a snowball planet, right? Um, so that'll be the objective on that front. I, I just, I guess we could put the clay down and see. I wish I knew the exact number, right? I don't. Uh, I kind of want to look it up. All right. That is the assessment. Let's go see if we can find those, uh, those foxes and get some early, early food. Typically when I play this way, besides just immediate death, uh, I don't, I don't find food until I'm taking hunger damage. So the fact that we found some already makes me pretty happy. This looks so much cooler with the with the bloom on for this sort of like winter frozen wasteland um but it's very hard to see for me i have bad vision right so seeing things off in the distance are going to be a little bit more difficult right. let's see how my accuracy is today i hope he just runs and doesn't come after me i can't even see my aiming cursor dude be ready in case he turns on me. Alright. I can't see my- oh shit. Remember, I he'll do like half my HP if he bites me. <laughs> it's it's weird to be afraid of a fox, you know? Like it like for death. Not oh my god. There we go. There's our first meal. Let's hope it's a big boy. Extra chunky fox, I hope. Uh, I think we can make, like, gloves or, or some very rudimentary... Oh, he had two steaks, though. It's not too bad. I think we can make, like, a rudimentary uh, clothing. Right, with this? Let me see. Hide? Rawhide? No, no, no. Uh, pelt? No, pelt is after you treat it, right? So we want rawhide. I think we can make pants and, like, a coat. So we'll try to pull that off. That's really nice. Like, that's new. That was not in the game when I used to record these. There should be another one around here. I might stick around this area uh, a little bit longer so we could build up some food. Usually if there's some, you'll see, you'll find more. There he is. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry about the cursing. I'm going to try to keep the cursing to a minimum, but... Smooth brains like me got to curse a lot. This is the way it is. I'm having a difficult time aiming with the bloom. Not an excuse, just an explanation. God, my aim is so bad. We got one hit. I do want it to, like, not chase me down, though. I might sprint towards... I'm avoiding sprinting, but I think it's okay to do it here. Or in the face. Sorry, Foxo, but I must devour you. Alright, I'm starting to get chilled. Let's go get that wood and we'll cook our first meal, too. Uh, I'm not going to build a shelter. I'll we'll probably find some ice to make an igloo. Um, I don't really want to dig up and pack snow or anything like that. Let's just go to the nearest tree and make a fire. Actually, I'd rather make it out here. God, there's a lot of uh, temporal portals. Rifts? Rifts? There's a lot of rifts opening up. We'll go to this tree. Let's mutilate it. Uh, we could get some free degrees if I do build a shelter, but... I think we'll be okay for now while we're just making a cooking fire. It would be... Honestly... I should go to that mountain and, and make a shelter out of it. The reason... I, is it that where the bears were? I don't remember anymore. The reason is because... um. I don't have that many fires, right? We only have eight grass right now. So wherever I make a fire, I would like it to be long-term. I think what I'll do is I'll just go get ice and bring it out here. Because I already know there's no bears here. Who knows? Some might spawn in. Uh, I think that's what I'll do. We'll just make the fire here. We'll go collect some ice. We'll bring it back and we'll make a rudimentary igloo. And then from there, I think what I'll do is... There's two ways of doing this, right? You could try to secure food and hope you get lucky with like a double steak or a piece of fat and then pick a direction and walk. I think after we warm up, I'll, I'm going to do that. We're going to pick a direction and we're going to walk. Uh, we're going to try to walk southward. 
But, um... Honestly, I feel like I should just walk any direction until I get my bags up from Arctic Ruins. Right? We need some luck with Arctic Ruins. Uh, and then once I have my bags, then we'll head south. Uh, trying to pick up any ruins on the way and taking breaks when we have to to build up our strength, right? And by strength, I mean our stamina. Uh, that's the approach I want to do. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know. We shall see. Let's de wood this wood. Just want some bonus sticks if I could get some. Let's. I, I can't carry these, these vines. All right, I'm sure somebody can explain to me why I want those eventually. We're just going to make a standard fire for now. Um, what can I put down? Let's put these down. Let's put these boners down. Glad there's no snow here. Because the snow does obscure your, your stuff. I hear that, uh... What's it called? Rift nearby. Down for now. Let's put these up. I gotta make a fire starter. I hate the fire starter. I don't like single purpose tools. And this, I would have been okay with it if I could burn it. Maybe you could burn it now, but when I played it back then, you could not burn it. I think I've mentioned this before on why I think you can't burn it so you don't accidentally burn it and lose it. But I think you should be able to burn it. All right, let's warm up, dude. Already, I assume we're going to be warming up here. Oh, yeah. Let's get nice and toasty. Okay, we lived for now. Uh, pretty good start, I honestly, for this one. Got some food immediately. Um, haven't taken any ticks of damage. Uh, I like it when I have no damage whatsoever because our stamina lasts longer. At least I think it does. I could be wrong. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We're just we're downwind of our fire, getting a face full of smoke per barbecue tradition. It happens every time. It's the rule of barbecue, is you always forget and you get a face full of smoke. You're like, ah, it's just how it is. You will always be downwind the first time you start that flame. Uh, okay. Am I warm now? We're almost there. Um, I'm just, I'm thinking that we leave the logs behind. And just hope we find more... Maybe I'll go to another tree and chop it down. Uh, having logs ready is nice, but I'm, and in order to carry more firewood, I think I might just go the, the log route, right? Versus the fire firewood route. Mm -hmm. I can't make anything out of this stuff yet. Right? These, these bones. I'll probably try to carry those with me. I can't do anything with this either. Um... It's kind of a shame, but I might get rid of it. Now, i got to decide if I want to make a torch. Let me think about this. If we make a torch, we'll have to sacrifice two fires, right? Because it's two grass, one stick. I think having the torch will be helpful to keep us warm. But it's going to take up a spot in our inventory on top of that. And we don't have true nighttime yet, right? We have uh, permanent daylight uh, in this region. And right now, inventory is at a premium. I might regret it. But the choice I'm making is I'd rather have that extra slot of inventory versus holding a torch for whatever degrees of warmth. Um, I might regret this, right? But that's what I'm going to do. All right. Sorry I keep pausing the game, but time is of the essence, and I don't want to waste any time if I, if I don't have to. I'm going to put this away. If I put away, I'm going to slap it down here. I'm going to take the bones and the leather with me. Because I can make better tools out of the bones. Uh, and I want to gather that leather so we can make that the uh, primitive clothing. Right? So it could be slightly warmer. Uh, we'll see. I might throw away the bones. They're not super high priority. They're just nice to have. I might, I might want to throw away this fire starter. But right now, while we still have... Uh... uh low grass count, I don't want to throw away the fire starter. Right? Uh, let's just put these bones. I kind of want to put this clay away. I could put the clay in here and use this as a makeshift container. Um, 
should we try to make something and then I could come back to this spot someday? I, I, I probably won't. I'll get lost. But basically, I'm trying to decide if I want to carry this clay around. Because I still got to make a kiln to fire the stuff, right? So I, you know what? I think I'm going to make a call here. And I'm just going to leave the clay here. I'm going to leave it behind. All right, which way is north? Uh, you know, I don't care. Let's just use this as our marker. Okay, and then maybe one day I could find this spot again if I want that clay back. Let's just pick a direction from there, and hopefully we come across more more delicious foxes. If we see a fox really close by, I'm just going to fall back to that fire and cook them up. But uh, I'll probably get rid of these bones for in favor for logs. That's what I'm leaning towards. We really don't want to take any amount of damage, so I hope these guys don't spawn in. The nice thing about the permanent day is we're going to have a little bit of breathing room from the sloths. We're only going to have to worry about... Uh, I don't know if andersite is a workable stone. I kind of want to check the inside of this cave. But my general rule of caves, unless I'm ready to explore them, I only take peaks to see if there's just like on the surface uh, ruins or boulders that I could make use of. Because uh, just taking any amount of damage is not worth it, right? Because all that damage is also like my starvation time, right? Because I could get to my next meal. I've done it before, right? Maybe you were there, maybe you weren't. But uh, there have been times where I barely survived by like less than one HP. Is that, oh, food, dude. Delicious food. Let's get all of these guys. I might fall back to our fire to cook these up. If they're bunnies, they are food, right? Yeah, it's food. Close, but not close enough. I'm gonna sprint. Oh god, we're already hungry. Let's just eat these. You're next, pal. I shouldn't say that. I'm like raising my death flag here. Okay. Let's get these other guys. He knew. He heard me, dude. Oh, there's two of them. How can I miss? Okay, let's sprint past them. Feels so bad for murdering them. Alright. These are basically lined up. Uh, hopefully I don't lose them. I don't like being near uh, traitors. I feel like whenever I find a traitor... Especially after bears, I always get killed. Like, every time I near a trader, it's like, Oh, by the way, bear attack. Like, that always happens to me. So I'm extremely paranoid whenever I find a trader now. Alright, let's get our meals, dude. I'm excited. We're, we're off to a really good start, dude. I feel like I'm raising constant death flag. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Look at that fat. Let's eat that right now. I want to save it for lights, but right now, getting some calories in us is that is priority. Let's hope these other guys are chubby. Right, we didn't get double steaks, but the fat is superior. Just imagine you eat a fistful of fat. Ah, oh, so good! A fistful of fat in your mouth, dude. <clears throat> okay. You a fat boy? We're gonna go back to that fire we made. And uh, we should see if we have enough materials to make a, an upgrade in our clothing on top of that. We have four. I think we needed... One, two, three, four. I think we need four or eight for pants. I don't remember if it was single or double. We'll find out a bit. Oh my gosh, double meat and fat, dude. Incredible. What a generous fox we found. Hell yeah. We should- we gotta leave, right? We gotta take advantage of this and- and pick a direction and, and hope we find more ruins. Very comfy start, man. I was a little, a little- oh my gosh, they've respawned already? Let's go, dude. Very comfy start. Let's hope I don't squander it. Um... Ah, uh, don't overthrow right now. Did he fall into a death pit? No. 
I'm glad they don't help each other. If they helped each other, it'd be a lot harder. Did I forget anything back there? No, right? I think we're going to be able to make our primitive clothing, man. I'm getting my hopes up. The moment I get my hopes up, it's over, though. Where is our fire? And where's this other fox? There should be one back here somewhere, and then the one we ran... Oh, there he is. It's right here and here. I don't know if that one's a different one or not, though. Alright, let's be careful not to throw our spear into a hole. Or fall in when I sprint. How did I not pick up my spear, dude? I'm on ice right now. Very annoying. I like how I'm scared of a fox. How embarrassing. Alright. Uh, sorry about that. Slight distraction. We're eating good, dude. We're eating very good. I'm very excited about this attempt. This is probably one of the better starts I've had uh, playing this way. Where's that other fox? There he is. Let's get him. So it's kind of scary about throwing the spear here is we can cause a landslide, I think. But this area is great for foxes. I'm pretty happy about that. I wonder if when we put on this clothing, if it's going to pen penalize our uh, accuracy. I think only actual armor has uh, accuracy penalties for throwing. For range. Come on, dude. We're going to have to make a new spear soon. There's some ruins right there. Very exciting. Right? Those kind sometimes have a farmer's thing, uh, vessels, uh, like farming vessels, and they, sometimes they have reeds and grass, so maybe we could get a- This guy was stingy, dude. We had a stingy fox. All right, let's head towards our campfire. It was kind of lined up with this at this angle, so we should come across it this way. Not a bad start, dude. Excellent day one. Excellent day one. Seven fox steaks, a few hands full of fat that we already ate. Um, we might be able to make some clothing. In fact, I'm fairly confident we can make pants or a shirt with eight pelts like this. Um, sorry, eight hides. Gets killed by bear. Not yet. There's our fire right there. I'm not sprinting to conserve our stamina. What's nice about this area is that it's not mountainy. The worst kind of start you can have is a mountainous location. All right. Put this away. Put this down. These logs in here. We're, we're going to have to go cut down another tree while we cook this. Not going to have enough. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I could... Uh... Somebody told me that I could uh, click, eight, press H on this, and I think pants cost less materials. One, two, three, four, five, right? Okay. We could do that now. Put that on. This is kind of ruined, so I'm just going to throw it away. Feels bad throwing it away, but it is what it is. Um, that should give us better warmth. And I did forgot to light this. Alright, let's go get some more wood while we, while we start cooking this. It'll take a long time to cook. Anyhow. And I'm kind of concerned going towards that tree line because I'm pretty sure that's where we saw the bears. I think that's where we came from. In that general direction. But let's just go see... Um, I'll try to go for this one. Famous last words? I don't know. Unfamous last words. For the last person in the world. Unfamous last words. Oh, bear. Okay. Let's go to, the, to those trees. They're roughly the same distance. Now nah, these are further. 
to spare right off the bat. I'm hoping we get some useful materials uh, when we arrive. Can I, can I put clothes down on the ground? Does it let me do anything like that? No. I could change my clothes. Let me check the temperature. 1.4 versus 2. Alright, so it is better. Not by much. I like our Blackguard outfit too, but gotta do what we gotta do. Alright, we'll let that cook up. It's probably going to put out, right? It's going to get put out by the time we get back. But, uh, it's all about conserving time. Or being efficient. <clears throat> so, the whole bear problem, at least for permadeath players, maybe I'm the only one that suffers from this. Like, maybe I'm the only guy that gets killed by bears, because I suck. But um, I think they should have a temporary fix until... Because I think the real problem is how things spawn. Right? I think they need to re rethink how everything spawns. Um, and make it more immersive, but also uh, fun to play. Got some more food there. That looks like a bunny, dude. That's red meat. I don't have a way of carrying that right now, though. Let's focus on the wood. For starters. What I might do is I might... I might leave my hatchet here, because the ruins are there anyway. So after we chop, out, ch chop down this wood, I'll, I'll process the firewood, and then I'll leave behind the hatchet. And then we'll go back this way. Maybe I'll kill that bunny for the red meat. Is that a bear or a... That might be an arctic run. That could give us a bag right now. Right, depending on what it is. So I'm going to go for it. Uh, this is the... F we found a lot of... We got really lucky with the ruins, dude. Ugh. Andersite. Uh, it's just stones. It looks like it's stuff to make leather. What a waste. I think I, I'm gonna grab it and just put it on the ground so it doesn't despawn on us. Is that a wolf? I can't tell. I hope it's a fox. Bees could have food or a farming vessel. That's a bear. I guess there are no wolves right now. Food. I'm just gonna eat it. We're not gonna cook it. I think there should be one more vase in this one. I just don't know where to dig, and when time is of the essence right now. So I'm just gonna get our wood and move on. But this bear's gonna make it hard to search this ruin if he moves closer. Which, uh, with my luck, is very likely. I really wanna get that bunny now. And yeah, that's red meat, dude. Plus another small pelt. It's good stuff. Uh, I should really. Consider, like, when I start, maybe just spamming all spears and then just trying to get an early kill on a on a bear. Right? If we get an early kill on a bear, we'll get a lot of, like, good resources, I think. I wonder if my axe can chop this down. Well, I'll just make a new one out of bone. Here, I do want to save these vines. I'm, I think we can make something useful out of them now. Out of rope, maybe? I should check the rope. We can make rope. And rope can make... No baskets. Can make... Yeah, I'm not really seeing the... Maybe I was being trolled. It became a meme that, that vines can make uh, containers. On my channel because somebody, like, really highly recommended I do it, but it turned out to be from a mod. Um. <laughs> I don't know where that bear is. Eyes on the bear! Lost him. Uh, before we go all the way back... Uh, let me put down this knife. Process these logs into firewood. I'm a little tempted to make a club, but I don't want to carry that around, man. Uh, can't we get something useful out of sifting now? Something slightly better than than before? Don't actually know. Okay, let's just store these here for now. We'll take one stack with us. I'm gonna leave behind my axe. I will take the knife though. Let's go. 
Where was that, uh, ruin? I think it was right here. Let's pile up those, uh, limestone in case I want to come back for them. Alright, so let's put our knife down. It's gonna be kind of hard to see. Yeah, this chalks, because we can make, um... What's it called? Let me just put it in a straight line, so that way when I'm looking for it, it'll be easier to notice the, the change in textures. Once it starts snowing a lot, it'll be harder to see. But I feel like creating something like this might make it easier to spot overall. Uh, we could use this to make leather someday. I don't know how much this could provide. Maybe one piece of leather, who knows. Alright, let's go back to our campfire. We got lucky, man. We found- we already burned through those calories, right? That- the raw food we, we ate. I- I want to say that that kind of ruin can have a food and a farming thing. Unless they changed it. But I just- I have distinct memories of coming across those and getting multiple jugs. So, I will try to dig after we get our food done. Right, and then we'll decide which direction to go after that. Um... I'm probably never going to come back here, right? Because, like, the... Here's the problem with finding uh, that chalk. To my knowledge, oak can only grow in warmer climate than this. Like, we'll have to head north. Maybe if we go all the way to where it should be the desert, um, maybe we can find oak there. Right, right, where's the... There, so the fire should be... Somewhere in this direction. I lost the bunny, man. I forgot about it, and I didn't see it on the way back. But there's our fire. We have frozen steaks waiting for us. I see the northern lights right there. Then Aurora Borealis. Okay, most of these cooked up. That's good. Let's put our weed... In there. Light it up to get warmed up and fed. Alright, since I'm kind of like torn on this clay, the reason why I don't want to process it now is because I don't I know I don't have enough materials to make a kiln. Right now, grass is at a premium. Right? I highly value grass. Uh that's why I'm not processing the clay, but I also don't want to throw it away. I could use the storage of uh, a trader, but I, I don't like doing that. I feel like I'm cheating when I do that. So I think I'm just going to leave it in our campfire like we did last time. Great tool. Such immersion. Big wow. Come on, man. Did I, not, did I put the logs in the wrong slot? No, graphically they're shown correctly, so... There we go. Just took a few tries. Let's just fill up on this then. While we warm up a bit. Take a look at our surroundings. Yeah, I think I'm just going to store the clay here. That'll be the strat. <clears throat> um, as for recording this, I think I'm going to record an hour at a time. Right? And then I'll probably cut it together or shorten it some way or it'll just be a full hour uh, i want to aim for anywhere between half an hour and hour long episodes uh, i think that's how i want to do this and i want to have at least one episode every saturday uh, depending on how life is things are getting kind of rough for me so i don't know how consistent i can make that but uh i'll, I'll make an honest effort to make it happen let's eat this and what else can I put away here that I know I'm not going to use right now? I feel like I could put the clothes in here for now. Right, since I'm going to leave anyway. I think, could you burn it? I wonder if it'll burn. Nope. Alright, let's go. Uh, I'll take these logs temporarily with me. But, um... I don't know, maybe I should grab that clay. But like I said, we don't have any grass. We don't have any method of preparing it. And I'll just come back for it. It was seven clay. 
right? A little bit more, and maybe we can, uh... I wonder if I could find a boulder in here. I'll have a torch, though. Okay, good. Tool making materials. Got one flint. I don't know if this is nappable. I'll check right now. Um, it can. Nice. Alright, so I don't have to rely on flint. I just gotta find a boulder of these, and I can make use of them. Good to know. Keeper, I think we saw some foxes on the way back, didn't we? I wouldn't mind get, getting those early kills either. This area's been great for hunting. Alright, so I kind of like it here. Good visibility. I don't like all this activity though, but we don't have true nighttime, so it's not too big a deal yet. Why am I going back? Oh wait, I see the uh, seafood, dude. I gotta make a new spear soon. And going back for my axe, that's what it was. It's a bunny. High value kill. I think our spear is gonna break after we hit him one time. It's okay, I found one piece of flint, so... Spear for spear. I feel like that was a good throw. Right, let's just make it now. Because that one's about to break anyhow. Gets killed by bear. Um, anyway, so yeah. I, I never finished that thought about uh, the bear stuff, right? I think the best thing to do for temporary relief uh, I think they should consider just debuffing the bear a little bit I think speed is the most fair debuff you could have because that way you have a fair chance like you get hit once and you have a chance to get away or adding a large delay after a bear attacks add a large delay um, because that a large delay would help in, in combat too because that way you could you could like back off and then go in for a stab block it back off or, or attack, right? So adding a delay might be fun. That way you have a chance to get away. Uh, or just lower its speed, its running speed for the time being. Uh, for the same reason. You get hit and you run away. Because there's a problem with this game. And I, uh, people do disagree with me. I, I think uh, Mischief, a fella that does make content for this game and, and uh, Minecraft content as well, this is, disagrees, right? Maybe some of you guys will disagree, but I think the audio... In, in specific terms, the audio for creatures is not accurate to their positioning. Right? In my opinion. Um, and I want it to be better. This is one of the few games where I hear, like, positional audio, and it's not accurate. Like, it, or there's none at all. That's super important in a game where you could die easily. Uh, or just need resources, because it could help you find something or avoid something. Right, because when I hear wolves, some usually it could be accurate. Right? Okay, I hear wolves over there somewhere, but sometimes it's not, and I don't know why that is. This is the only game I've ever had this issue with. Um, that's why I don't think it's like in my in my imagination. Right, I've been silently killed by bears multiple times. There's nothing, and then they're just there, uh, and I have it recorded like it happened on stream. Um, you could say skill issue. I'm willing to accept that. Right, that I'm just bad. But, um, this thing is basically done, so... You did your job well, Spear. We got one slice of red meat. That's, uh... So do I want to go back just to cook it? We'll probably come across more boxes if we hang out here. They'll probably just be spawning in time to time. A little tempting to go back and cook it because... We can make our, our pants. Right, here's a fox right here. miss though shameful is that another bunny yo i love this place so technically we could scrape a life together here just eating food every day right but i want to see how far we could get tech wise in comfort right if can we thrive or do we have to survive the whole time there he is uh, he's kind of going towards the bears not ideal not ideal at all. Alright, where's my axe? 
right there. We have firewood. I can make a new fire. How about we do this? Let's poke around for the other ore. It should be like on the side somewhere. To my memory. Right, probably beneath that snow block. I don't know. I remember there are always being two for this kind of thing. Let me just... Okay, the bear's way over there. Theoretical bear over there. So I'm going to poke around for it. I think it should be somewhere here beneath these blocks. Um, it's a bit wasteful of my energy, because I could be walking towards more ruins or something like something useful, you know? But I want to say there was two back then. It might have been updated. I know these were updated, so they might be different now. Looks like I'm wasting my time. Or wasting our calories. Might give up. I'll check the edges for now, but I'm thinking this is a mistake. Uh, bony soil could have some good stuff. Right? I can't remember what it was. I really gotta remember these things. If you guys know the, the facts, go ahead and tell me. Right? And then we could devise a plan afterward. Okay, I give up. I want to continue, but I don't want to spend too much time doing that. Is that a, did they spawn behind me? Man, I love these spawns. I wish these spawns would happen more often. Like, less bear ninjas and more bunny ninjas. God, my accuracy is bad. Should have grabbed my axe. Right? If you're inaccurate, you're punished. You're punished because... You're gonna burn more calories than you get back. But this is red meat we're talking about. Plus, we still need the... A few more, um... Pelts, or whatever they're called. Heights. <sighs> sometimes you got it, sometimes you don't. So close. The variance is really painful with Blackguard. Especially once you armor up. There's a bear. We're gonna have to let this guy go if we don't get him soon. I'm gonna try to make him hop that way. I don't know how far bears aggro wildlife. Hey, we did it. Got a hit. Hopefully we finished the job. I see something else in the distance. I don't know if it's a ledge or a creature. Uh, there we go. Took a while. There's still one more bunny that we can get. We're hoping for a fatty bunny. It says low, so unlikely. Red meat. We're gonna cook these up. I I think we should hang out around this area until we fill, finish our pants. Uh, it's been pretty generous with uh, the hunting. I still don't know what direction I want to go in. I just want to go anywhere where there's land. And just keep going. That would have been unfortunate. Where's that other bunny? I want the red meat. Is that a bunny? What is that? Oh, it's a baby. I don't think we want to kill this guy. Grow up fat! Okay, we'll spare that guy. There it is. Now that's my imagination. I thought I saw a bunny hopping around over there. Mm. I'm trying to see if I see any ruins on the horizon. I don't see anything. There he is. Came back. Let's smoke him. Literally. Damn it. Let me grab this axe. Maybe I could take a swing at him. No, I'm not. <laughs> he's thought he's gonna get real close. I really like that mechanic. That's a a fox. They're gonna kill each other. I don't want the fox to kill the bunny, because I want higher chances of food, not less. That's a good throw. Proud of that one. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna hang out here longer. Sorry for the very slow start, but that's the name of the game when we play like this. Especially when I play. 
I'm sure there are professional vintage story survivalists now. But uh, it's just the way it's going to be. Uh, oh, I, I waited too long to throw. My accuracy dropped quite a bit. I'm going to go back for that fox. Actually, we're not because it's a different type of meat. And it'll take up more space. Is that a fox? Is that another bunny? Yo, maybe we we'll, maybe we shouldn't leave here. Maybe we should keep coming back here and we'll just check the perimeter for ruins. Because if we get enough clay and we can make a cooking pot, that'd be a game changer. If we could get a, a ruin that can make us a bag or something, uh, that'd be another game changer. Because bunny and foxes are spawning here nonstop, right? This could this could be a winning strat if we survive long enough out here. Right, if we get our, our energy up... Oh god, I'm going to take hunger damage. Let's just go cook now. We don't want to take... Since we have no energy, I'm just going to sprint. I wasn't paying attention at all. We went through that energy fast, dude. Right, blackguard. Gotta eat. You're a blackguard, you gotta eat. I, I was really hoping we could avoid any damage. Big mistake on my part. Whatever, we got three red meats. Uh, maybe we'll be okay. okay. Throw this here. Throw these in. Light this up. We still have six grass, so it's not too bad. Okay, let's just sit here. I don't know if, if this reduces uh, how much energy you spend. Or in this case, HP we lose. But we'll wait. We'll warm up. I kind of want to go back for that bunny, though. We hit it once, didn't we? I think I did. Maybe not. Just need one. We're hungry. Give me a bunny steak. Mm. We're burning through our spear again. If only those bunnies had like one fur on them. Right, we probably could have made our pants. Alright, three? That's pretty damn good. Oh, I feel like I should go get that bunny while that cooks. We'll waste some logs though. Whatever. There is a fox there and a bunny there. I think we should just go get it until we have enough to make our our uh, pants. Right? Because we can make pants in just four. We only need one more. So I say we do that. Let's just get food. We know there's two targets somewhere around here. It's doable. Where's that sweet bun? Sweet, sweet bun. There he is. Right there. Um, we might be wasting the firewood. I think if we kill him early, if we don't miss a lot, we'll, we should be able to uh, get back before it burns out. We could get him. Ah, misjudged. We've just extended our hunt time. Man. I gave myself less height because we were elevated, but bad guess. Honestly, there's variance to it. I think I'm lucky when I get any hits, to be honest. Just because of the variance and how that works. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty close attempts, but not close enough. We're heading towards that bear now. I really want to sprint there and just kill it, but... Dude, please. I'm wasting the fire. If it wasn't moving, I bet we would have got it. That was lined up perfectly. Alright, I gotta kill this guy. Bear's close, dude. 
Let's approach from this side. Maybe get it go towards the water. I hate that I'm getting it towards the water that we have to... I see a fox nearby, that's nice. I didn't want to sprint, but let's just kill it in the water. I think water should be more punishing. I don't fear getting wet. Like, yeah, there's like a deep, there's like a bad side of it, but it's not punishing enough. In real life, you would be, it'd be game over. I don't want extreme realism, but I do think it should be a little more punishing for survival gameplay. No fur. No, no luck on that front. Should we kill that fox? Right? That's the question. I think we should. Why not? Now, here's the worst case scenario where I'll eat my words. I get back to the fire, the logs are burnt out, and then I freeze to death. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen, though. We should have enough energy to murder this fox, though. There's two of them. We don't want him to bite us because it'll hurt too much. I don't want to sprint a lot. Either. These are, like, so much easier than bunnies. Oh, wait, I can't carry this meat. Shoot. We'll have to come back for them later. I forgot the different type of meat. Now, let's just sprint back and hope we get there before the fire's burnt out. If not, then I really fucked up. Inefficient ends. I'm sure the fire's burnt out by now. Maybe it, like, turns itself off out of going from a distance from it, but, uh... We'll see. We'll see if it was worth it. I think I had two steaks cooking. Right? We got our we got our fourth. No, we didn't. We didn't get a pelt yet, did we? We'll definitely go back for those foxes for food and is that a bunny? What is this? It is, dude. Wow. This is heaven. For this sort of survival for food, this is like the best this is like the secret hunting grounds. Oh man. I'm not gonna go down there. There looks like there's an open pit too. Hopefully it'll come out on his own. Let's just get to our barbecue. I see smoke. Very promising. Still toasty. Oh, we had plenty of time, man. I was worried for nothing. Uh oh, I hear snow. Shoot. Uh, I don't think snow blocks levitate anymore. So I'm gonna have to get some ice. Should be some ice here. Oh, it just gets deleted. God damn it. Um. Well, shit. I mean, it's not being put out. Let's just eat this for now. I guess it's gonna snow, right? It hasn't been put out, though. This is done. That was actually perfect. Alright. Let's reserve these. And what else can I put in here? Let's put our clay. Let's go kill those foxes. I might have to make a new spear. Um, there's a cave here. We could find some stone to make uh, more tools. Hopefully there's no sloths, or sorry, uh, drifters down there. Look at our hunger. I kind of just want to leave. Since we have this much hunger, I want to leave and try to find um, another ruin. This looks like it'll collapse. This is substantial. Like this area. Oh yeah, it's a great way to get stuck. I don't have ladders or anything. No thanks. We'll skip that one. This one looks kind of manageable, as long as we don't cause all the avalanche. The bunny went down here. Alright, it's pretty easy to escape. If we see any ruins, we'll check it out, but I'm not going to go in too deep. There's some lint there. I can get back out. Let's go get it. Oh shit, they're already spawning in. Can't even pick it up either. I don't want to get hit. Evasive maneuvers. Don't throw rocks, please. You. Look at how much damage that did. Two and a half 
Two and a half blips. It's very not good. Ah, <sighs> well, whatever. Let's just go after those foxes to get our last piece of warmth, right? Our last uh, clothing upgrade. I shouldn't be sprinting. I think there was one here too, but I know there's two this way. I'd rather go for the two than the one. And we already killed one of them. So we'll head this way. Then we'll go back to our dumb fire, cook them up. We should be able to wear our pants and we should... I'll stop picking up leather or, or pelts after that. I could make a armor or whatever, but um, I don't. I have to cure it. I think it's worth leaving it behind for the time being because we have to hunt for food and we're going to be getting more of these pelts regardless. Oh, is, was that a bunny? No way. I think it is. I thought it was a fox back here. Big mistake. Well, that was the last of our spear. Please have a hide. Just meat. You know, it's better they have meat than just a hide, but still. We're still short a hide. This definitely is the promised land, dude, for hunting. Alright, let's make a new spear. I might leave these stones behind just for capacity. Let's make a flint spear. We want to make our spears out of flint when we can. Or obsidian. Uh, I, I bet there's a mod for this, but I really hope they make this more easy to see. Unless they make an argument for realism and difficulty. Which I would think be kind of dumb, this sort of thing, but I should think about just adding like a more clear color to the forging and to the napping and all that. So where'd this guy go? I lost the oh there he is. That's hard to see, dude, with the with the bloom. We were snow blind. Is that a wolf or the fox? I hope it was just the fox. I don't think wolves spawn in this area. We'll have to poke him. Oh, he'll turn back, though. Oh. Yeah, that scared me. I thought I was going to get bit. Please be fat. You a fat guy? No. But we can finish our... our pants, so that's good. Here's our earlier kill. We got some food and some... fur. I think we could finish our pants now. Um, did I get too much? I might have gotten too many, actually. Yeah, I did. Well, I'm done. Okay, get rid of those. And get rid of this. We got a little bit more inventory. Like, it's a little sad to waste the, the leather, but... It is what it is. Let's go back. We're going to cook this. Um, and we're going to move on. We have our warmth. I don't have an excuse to stay here anymore other than building up food. Like, theoretically, I could just walk around here and try to build up a, a stockpile of food. And so we can have lots of energy and, and extra food on hand as we travel. But, um, I don't know. I feel like we have a great start already. Maybe I'll regret this. Maybe I won't. Maybe it'll be fine. If I do do this, right, if I do decide to sit up here, I feel like we should build a shelter. I could grab a bunch of that ice. I could do that right now. Right? And then we can make an igloo out of our, our first campfire. It's not a bad idea, to be honest. Like, let's say... Let's say I do stick around, like I said earlier. We could use this as a base of operations and just pick a direction, walk, see if we find any ruins, come back, and we repeat that until we explore every direction. I'm really scared of bears, dude. I could be around here. So let's just make an igloo. And then I'll decide like next time. Next time I play what we're going to do. Knowing me, I'll want to leave. Right? Right now I'm more cautious because I'm actually playing. When I come back fresh, I'll be more adventurous and be like, let's just go, let's just do it. Uh, knowing myself. 
We could build a shelter here, but I don't want to waste my grass right now. All right, so I'm just going to bring this back and utilize the fire we've already made. I don't know how many blocks I'm going to need. Let's just take a, a fair amount of them. This 34 should be enough, I think. Yeah, this will be enough. Let's go. Watch it not be enough. We have one red meat, one, uh, what's it called? Bush meat. So that'll be like four little blips of energy. Uh, the hunting has been incredible in this region, in this area. So I'll set up a temp shelter. That'll be our hunting igloo. And then next time I'll be deciding if we try to get fat here, fatten up before we leave, or do we just go? Because eventually I'm going to have to go into these caves and get more stones. I left some behind here and there. I'm leaning towards just getting out of here, dude. Yeah, this bloom effect is crazy in the winter. It looks awesome. I'm not a big fan of bloom because I don't think it's done well in most games. Right? In most games, it's done pretty badly. <clears throat> okay, our camp is right there. Right above our cursor. I'm not going to sprint, though. How do we look? How does our boy look? He looks like a, like a peasant. Like a prisoner peasant. Like he's got to be working a mine or something. Well, hopefully we do work a mine. If we work a mine in this game, that's only a good thing, right? No. That means we can't start a fire. Or can we? Because we're going to have our hunting igloo built. Is that a bear? What is that? Right there. Let's hope that that's just like blocks that I forgot about. Alright. I don't want it to be too big. Just want it to to be comfy. Okay, we'll make the door here in the middle. I do want it to be three tall, but I don't know if I have enough blocks to make it three tall. But this should suffice for now. I think I do have enough to make it three tall. If not, I'll just make it not three tall. Maybe barely enough. I'm gonna have to go back, aren't I? We're just short one. So if I can find some ice here, like maybe here we could find some. A little layer of ice. Because this will, won't work for a door. Wait, am I hungry already? Well, that sucks. Well, honestly, we don't need we don't need a door for this. Um, can't believe we're already hungry. This in here, take this out. Throw this in here. Ah, man, kind of nice to have a little shelter, right? It's not gonna warm us, sadly. How did I lose all that energy? Was that just from digging? It just went all away so fast. We're gonna have to go hunting again. And I'm gonna need a new batch of wood too. As well. So we're gonna run out. Mm, the clay I'll just put back in. The knife I want to take with me. I mean, we're going to cook up. I suppose I don't really need this flint. I can't put it down like a rock. Okay, never mind. What did I do with my axe? Did I put it outside? Oh, wait, let me eat this. I'm going to stand here taking extra damage like a dummy. 
Uh, one log, I think that'll be enough. Did I put it out here? Let me move the grass to the ice. So the ice is more... A little bit more visible from the distance. I don't know where I left my axe, man. I don't mind making a new one, but I, I gotta go get stone somewhere. Okay, I think for now, we'll leave it like this. Right, we'll call it here. Um, we need to go get more food. I gotta fatten up again. I wasted all my calories, I guess. We gotta get more firewood to, to do that. And um, I gotta get more stones from the caves beneath. Uh, after that, I think we just gotta pick a direction and leave. Right? If we're lucky, we'll find more resources. Um, but we have our hunting igloo. We found uh, we had a very good start this time around. We'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching.